Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Ghost XX TV and today I will be explaining about squad game and different game modes that I usually play. I'll try to keep it short and simple so that when you are joining your first match you are aware about the game modes. So not wasting much of the time, let's dive into it. Okay, so what is squad game? The squad is a tactical first-person shooter game that provides realism with teamwork, communication, and gameplay. Okay, it's unlike any other games like uh, Battlefield or Call of Duty, where players, you know, usually just spawn, just spawn and start shooting. Okay, so in squad, we have to create the operating base, make strategies, communicate, and but the most important thing is to play for the objective, but not for the kills. So I hope you are clear about what the squad game is all about. Okay, so when you are going to launch your game for the first time, this will be the main screen you are going to see. Okay, now before hopping into any of the server, I would highly recommend you to go down into the training section and do your basic level training. Okay, they are going to showcase you how to be into a combat okay, or how to create a hab and all. Okay, if you, if you try to go into the training section, you will see uh this is the main training which was on the main screen if you want to do a pilot tutorial this is the one and uh, if you want uh you know open training area these are the options okay so i would highly recommend to do the training if you're in the first time in the squad now next coming to the server browser option right uh over here if you will click this button uh, you can see that uh, there are multiple servers available okay and in those servers you can see the game modes are like RAS, AAS, then C, Invasion, okay, Training so basically uh, before hopping into any of the server right you must be aware about the game mode so that's what I'm gonna be explaining the next Okay, so talking about the game modes, right? So there, there are basically uh, four game modes that are uh, played majorly around all the servers. Okay, and these are advanced and secure, skirmish, random, advanced and secure, and invasion. Uh, apart from these four, we have other game modes as well, like territory control or the uh, the bomb diffusal and something like that. But uh, in this video, we are gonna talk about the major four one. So let's talk about them one by one. Okay, so let's start with AAS first. Okay, so AAS stands for Advanced and Secure. Okay, so the basic concept behind AAS is that we already know what are the objectives that needs to be captured. Okay, if you see, this is a screenshot from a live game. Okay. So in this AS mode, you can already see that where are the objectives and what are uh, their state. Like currently they all are at a neutral state. Okay, so if you can see there is the enemy main base. Okay, and over here is our main base. Okay, so once the staging time is over, okay, everyone according to the plan, they're gonna move ahead okay but the only thing we need to keep in mind that the objectives can be only captured in a sequential manner okay so that means first of all our team needs to capture this particular objective okay until unless you capture the first objective uh, you can you are not able to capture the second objective okay similarly from the enemy's point of view they need to first capture this objective and then they have to proceed to this objective okay so and so on okay even from the enemy's point of view or even from your team's point of view okay so this is the basic concept about the AS. okay we already know the objectives and we have to capture it sequentially so later down later down the point there would be uh, a there would be a time when uh, you both the teams need to actually fight for a common objective okay suppose if you see over here a common objective is this one okay but 
it also depends from game to game how your team is progressing or how the enemy team is pro pro progressing okay so suppose if your team is good you are able to capture this this and this and even this objective okay and if enemy team is slow they are still only able to hold this objective okay so what will be the so the next plan would be uh, that you that your team not only have to defend this particular objective okay but also attack this objective okay so this is the basic concept right that we have to capture all the objectives one by one so more the objectives we have in our hand uh, it will be more beneficial for your team okay so so if this is the current state so it will be like you have to attack this objective but also make sure that this objective stays under your hold okay because if you least lose this objective then there is no point to attack this objective okay so i hope i'm clear that uh, about the basic concept about the aas that stands for advanced and secure okay so now coming to the second mode which is raas that stands for random advanced and secure okay so as the name suggests right it's a random okay you don't know what will be the next objective okay so like you see over here right from this again a screenshot from a live map okay live match you can see uh currently you are only able to see a uh, one objective okay so until and unless you capture this particular objective you don't know where you are gonna get the next objective okay so that's why it is called random advanced and secure so suppose your team goes ahead and capture this objective okay so only after capturing this objective you will come to know whether the second objective will be will be over here or it will be over here okay so this is the basic concept about random advanced and secure uh, similarly the same thing would be happening from the enemy's perspective uh, perspective okay during the start they will only see a one objective and until unless they cap it they will not come to know that what is the second objective so after capping it it can go over here okay or it can go over here okay so suppose they it goes over here okay then after capping this they will come to know that this is the third objective okay similarly from our teams suppose it goes over here so this is the third objective now now apparently this is again gonna come to a common objective okay so so again this is uh, uh again it would be same thing that you have to not only defend this objective but also attack this objective okay so this is the basic concept of random advance and secure you will you will only come to know about the next objective uh, only when you have captured your previous objective okay so i hope this is clear and we can move to the next one okay so coming to the next mode which is called invasion okay so invasion is basically about attack and defense suppose uh, you are an attacker so you would be able to see which of the objective you have to attack okay so uh, during the starting of the map the attacker would be only be able to see the first objective which they are supposed to attack okay but uh, from the defender's point of view okay uh, if you are a defender you would be able to see that what all objectives you need to defend okay so these are the two perspective but overall the gameplay is all about the attack and defense okay so suppose your team attacks this uh, particular objective and we have uh, a particular tickets okay suppose we have uh, 400 tickets so so before you run out of the tickets if your team is able to capture this particular objective 
after successfully capturing it finally your team will come to know what is the second objective you need to attack okay and also uh, in the in this particular invasion mode once you have captured this particular objective this objective is now for, will forever belongs to your team okay that means the defender cannot cap it anymore okay so it will be kind of a locked okay this objective will be locked for different defenders to capture it back okay so this is the basic uh, concept about invasion okay so coming to the next mode which is called skirmish so skirmish also focuses on capture and control of the points okay so but and we can say like uh, skirmish is kind of a smaller version of AAS where we know what all objectives we need to capture and hold them okay so as you can see in the screen right suppose if you are in the blue team you need to go ahead and capture this particular point and then uh, you also need to defend it okay so it is not only about a sing having a single objective there could be uh, multiple objectives okay and uh, <clears throat> then you have to again capture it one by one okay first of all you need to capture the first objective then you need to capture the second one so basically it is a smaller version of advanced and secure okay so so far uh, whatever game modes we have discussed right uh, they basically focus upon uh, capturing and controlling the objective but ultimately the result will be decided on the basis of the tickets okay so suppose a game mode starts from 250 tickets so the team who will finally reach to the zero ticket is ultimately gonna lose that particular round okay and and how do we lose tickets either if your player gives up when you are knocked out either if your vehicle is destroyed or your forward operating base aka fobs are destroyed okay or uh, or maybe if you lose any particular objective which was in your hold then definitely you are gonna lose some tickets okay so so overall uh, the game is about uh, tickets okay you have to make your any enemy team bleed down to the zero ticket if you want to win that particular round okay so when we talk about tickets right it is not only like we are gonna lose only a one ticket okay or something like that but it varies from uh, different vehicles or infantry or flags okay like if you can see this is a screenshot from the gameplay okay so over here if you can see right uh, if you capture a full flag you will get 60 tickets if you lost a full flag then uh, you will lose minus 10 tickets okay and similarly for losing an infantry okay one ticket for losing your commander two tickets light vehicles five tickets helicopter five tickets apc or ifp okay that is 10 tickets if you lose the main metal tank then 15 tickets and if you uh, if you lose your radio then also 10 tickets okay so ticket varies from uh, infantry to vehicles and to flags okay so coming down to the next topic that is bleeding of tickets okay so bleeding of tickets uh, means that your team is automatically bleeding some particular amount of tickets okay and when that and when uh, this situation arises I'm gonna explain you okay suppose your enemy team is able to cap all these objective <coughs> okay so till this point you your team won't be bleeding any tickets okay like uh, like this okay suppose your team have your three objective but enemy team have four objective so still you won't be bleeding it okay but as soon as the enemy captures your third last objective okay your team is gonna bleed with minus one per minute okay suppose suppose your team have 300 tickets so in so during every one minute your ticket will be automatically uh, downed by one point <coughs> okay now 
now suppose your now suppose the enemy captures your second objective also then your team is gonna bleed with minus two per minute okay and now if in case the enemy is able to capture your first objective then your team is gonna bleed with minus 60 per minute okay now if you reach this state so it's kind of a end game because minus 60 per minute is is really uh you know it's it's really fast okay you it's very difficult to overcome this state because you will have only few minutes to neutralize this particular objective okay so until unless you neutralize this objective back okay you you cannot stop your team from bleeding okay so this was all about bleeding and similarly uh, i would say this case is the vice versa uh, for the enemies okay so suppose if you are able to capture their third objective then they will bleed with minus one per minute if they if you capture their second objective they will bleed with minus two per minute and if they if you capture their last objective they will bleed with minus 60 per minute okay so i hope this is clear okay so the next topic is the different state of objective okay so basically uh, we have three states of objective uh, one one would be the red state okay uh, then the other would be uh, the objective which is in your hold okay and the third one would be a neutral state okay so suppose our team see blue donates that your team have already captured it then white donates that you have to go there and you have to capture it so suppose your team uh, moves ahead and is able to capture this particular objective then your then your task would be not only to attack this objective but to also defend this objective okay so these are the three different states of objective okay and uh, one more thing uh, how do we capture a particular objective when when your when the number of your teammates are are actually greater than the number of enemy teammates okay suppose <coughs> suppose in this particular objective okay if if there are 10 of from your team okay and there are uh, eight from enemy team then then definitely you are gonna capture it Okay, so this is the basic fundamental about how to capture the objective and also one more thing uh, suppose your team already owns this objective so <clears throat> when you will advance to capture this objective right so first of all you have to neutralize this objective okay so that means uh, from red this objective will first come down to a white okay it will come down to a white state that means you have neutralized it and then if you are able to capture it then it will finally turn into a blue state okay so that is the basic fundamentals about objective states okay so there is a term called double neutral okay so basically uh, when this situation arise I'm gonna show you now so if you take this uh, this situation into consideration that your team uh, holds these three objective and enemy teams hold these two objective so your team's objective would be to go here and attack this but also you need to make sure that you have to defend this okay and similarly for the enemy team they need to attack this okay but they have to defend this now somehow uh, somehow your team is able to attack and neutralize this objective okay so again i am repeating your team neutralizes this objective okay you have not captured it and similarly the attacking team okay is able to go here and neutralize the objective which was which was in our hold okay now if you will remember the concept okay the concept was you you cannot capture any objective uh, sorry about that you cannot capture any objective 
until and unless your previous objective is in your hole okay so now this situation is called double neutral okay because enemy team cannot capture this objective because their previous objective is not in their hold and similarly we cannot capture this objective because our previous objective is not in our hold so this situation is known as double neutral okay and how can we fix this situation our teams need to uh, just go back and they need to reclaim this objective okay you need to uh, take the hold of this objective so once you are able to do it then you can progress and start capping this objective and similarly vice versa for the opponent team okay so i hope you find this video informative and if you do please like share and subscribe and you can also comment for any queries or suggestions i'll be bringing more squad guides to help new players understand about the basic and the next video would be about uh, fob creations or strategies or spotting enemies so stay tuned